Hello, beautiful Virgo. Welcome to a new era. My name is Emma. Virgo, this is your monthly read for April of 2024. Before we get into it, I just really uh, want to say a thank you for all your likes, subscribes, and donations. I see them all. And thank you so much because it really has helped the channel to move in the right direction. So thank you guys, my Virgo nation. Uh, welcome to any newcomers as well. I see you new ones in there. It's really fun. Um, also, I just want to say... A quick little shout out here to my own <laughs> little I have an Easter offer right now and I was just gonna I offered it to another in another platform but I just figured I'd do it here and I will extend it here because it's gonna be weird to when you listen to this so I right now have a 25% off 25% discount on my private readings so if you're interested in personal reading read about it in this description those are the full prices. I won't write about it there. So if you catch it here, that's where you catch it. Then please send me a message if you're interested. Okay? Okay, Virgo. We're st starting with an overall energy. And we're going to go deeper and deeper into that energy. And then we're going to have the fairies. Start to work more with the fairies. Uh, come out at the end. To give you some extra advice or some additional message perhaps. What do we have for Virgo right now for the month of April? We have a big shift happening on the 8th, 8th of April. I will do a separate video on that because it's so much being said about that date. Um, that's going to affect things for sure. Wow, new beginnings. Begin your new life. What? Well, Virgo, like when you say, like, Virgo, welcome back. New beginnings. This is like the Phoenix rising. And it's very fiery on one side, but it's also like, I, it's like I see both fire and this looks like water to me. So it's like playing with the elements right now. Depending on like what you're more drawn to or, or overall, it can just be playing with the elements maybe for like one or two people I'm getting that you're literally are playing with the elements like you're really are getting into what we're capable of how you can catch yourself on set yourself on fire catch fire like produce fire how you can steer the water how you can be one with the water element how you can steer the rain create rain all of those things, like really getting into that. Obviously, that's not going to be for everyone. But for a small sum of you Virgos, that's going to be the truth as well. Um, uh, wait, I, I saw something else. Right. I rarely speak because it was a while back. So some of you Virgos, you're looking to meet a soulmate right now. The month of April will really be beneficial for you to meet someone new. I am getting towards more of that because it's peacock feathers. I haven't spoken about this in forever. So it might even be that Virgo, you have not been thinking about a relationship in like forever or thinking about even dating or even wanting that. I don't know. Um, but there's something like, wow, we're back here. <laughs> we're thinking about it again. And all these peacock feathers, the peacock for me represents the soulmate or the divine counterpart. And it, it's like you needed this resurrection. You needed this Phoenix rising situation first. So in alignment with this, what do you call this? The sun, the solar eclipse, the moon. You're really working with the elements and with the moon cycles, with the weather, with the earth right now. And I love, I love it. This looks like little mini chickens little mini chickens and it just brings me to easter right now so happy easter <laughs> whenever you catch this video but it's new beginnings you're really begin your new life someone is really starting over here that's really gorgeous virgo okay new beginnings begin your new life what do we have for virgo please going deeper Just see like people watching you going, whoa, like what's what's up with Virgo? Like it's noticeable. Virgo, going deeper, please. For the month of April. Uh, 
divine guidance, being shown a new path, and the justice card. Wow. So you probably, like for a moment, have been in a situation where you have just really pondered your life, pondered your path forward. Do you know that I have never, never in my existence, <laughs> I'm so dramatic, have I ever seen the dog there? I've never seen the dog. There's a little tiny dog there. And the dog for me represents loyalty, trustworthiness, a true companion, true friend. And the fact that I haven't seen it before and now I'm just seeing it, it's always been there. I shown this card, I looked at this card, I pulled this card for myself so many times. I never seen the dog. And today I'm drawn to like what's down there. It's a dog. And so you will start to see new things, Virgo. You're seeing, so you're new. And because you're new, you're starting to see new things. You're drawn to new things. You're drawn to new situations, new ideas, new people. This might actually literally be a dog. Someone is getting a dog. You're thinking about like a dog might have like started to work itself into your sphere. You might have not gotten the dog just yet, but you're thinking about one and thinking, and if you're thinking about one, that might even be like a connection with that soul of that dog sort of working its way in. And you shouldn't be too surprised if that dog like shows up in physical form not too long from now. But yeah, this is very much like searching for the meaning of life. This is, this is choosing a different path. This is like really thinking about what you want. And divine guidance here is letting you know that whatever's been going down or whatever been going whatever has been going on, you have had the angels with you. I just feel like at times you probably have felt like you have been on your own. It's like God left you or something. And, but God never left you. The universe never left you. How can something that you're connected to leave? It's like, <laughs> it's like the arm is always with you, but it's like you're a little bit pissed that the arm has left you, but it's right there. You know, it, it always was. Yeah, this is a changing moment for you. It has been a changing moment for a while, but this is now when you're starting to trust that, okay, you might actually be guided in the right direction. And we have seven on Michael. Seven is a completion. You've done what you were supposed to, with, whether this is a past relationship, past job-related job situation, past ways of thinking, being, living, um, you're being shown a new path. This is like, nope, we've done that. You gathered enough information. You have enough in your backpack. You have enough baggage, if you will. And Michael is here to show you a new path. Michael is all about like forward movement, take action. I'm going to guide you and show you where you can go instead. So there, and we have divine guidance. <clears throat> so I just feel like there's so much about like, trust the intuition right now trust that you're being given like you don't have to do it alone you don't have to walk it alone i think you even have had situations where you're put in put in different scenarios where it's like you're almost forced to trust the universe it's like you don't have any other choice but to just trust that everything will work out right now or you don't have any other venues or things lining up for you so you just better trust because <laughs> nothing's showing up and that might not feel like it's you practicing trusting it might just feel like nothing's lining up i can't make anything work but that's actually not what it is here it's you it's like the universe or your guides or whatever. It's like asking you to surrender a little bit. It doesn't mean that you stop living or that you don't take make choices or take make decisions, you know. But it is you sort of handing over, handing over it a little bit, Virgo. You don't have to walk it alone. You don't have to do make the decisions on your own. There's guidance here, and you're being shown a new path. Right now, we have begin your new life. You're being shown a new path. 
This is the justice card. So just feel like karma is now coming back around. This is when <laughs> it has been completely out of balance in the sort of wrong direction. It's not really the wrong direction, but it probably has felt like, can you just win for once? Can it just work out in your favor for once? You know, and here it is. It's like you, whatever you've done in the opposite direction is now being turned in your favor. So like karma is being balanced out. Justice is working out in your favor. We have number eight, which is the power and the strength and the possibilities coming your way now. This might even be that you are in an actual legal battle or that you're in some sort of where something is a legal matter. I'm getting an I'm getting an apartment. This might just be for one person, but I'm being shown it, so I have to just say it. Someone might even like be in an argument with their um what is that called? Their landlord. Like their the people that you're renting from. Uh you might be sort of in a legal battle battle or something that you have it's something with them you're gonna win you're gonna have the right on your side okay i'm gonna leave that energy because that's literally just for maybe one person but whatever this is like look at it as a like on a broader scale like now the energy is like being it's coming back around it's like the wheel of fortune is starting to turn in your favor we like that a lot. <clears throat> okay. And I just itched a little bit in my hand. So that just means <laughs> money for some. Money is coming in. So that maybe there's been a legal battle. Like you have the right to some inheritance. Or you have the right to some money. Or you're coming into some money. Or the money has been really low. And now money is coming back around. You've been asking and asking and asking. And here it is. Justice in your favor. Okay, going deeper still, what do we have for Virgo, please, for the month of April? Crown Chakra. Wow. This is gorgeous. We have seven... It's almost the same thing again. So we have seven on Michael, right? And then we have seven, which is the crown chakra. So again, like something is done. And the crown with 10, which is a completion, now going with the flow. And the master, this is about releasing your heart. This is about moving forward without fear. That your heart has been a little bit closed in. We have the phoenix rising here, like I said. So. It might be that you put up some walls or have been a little bit guarded or that might have just been your person for like such a long time that you have been a little bit guarded or have closed your heart in a little bit and now you're learning to like let that go. That is the devil. So it can also be a little bit like going into your um, old behaviors where it feels more safe and, and comfortable rather than like moving forward where it feels a little bit scary. With the crown chakra, which is all about like opening up to the universe, really being in alignment with the universe, asking for what you want, and like the justice card, being in alignment with it. So now it's like, it's not just an idea or a dream and please, please, please. It, here, here it comes, you know, here is the answer. And again, I'm so drawn to like some of you guys are into this like sacred geometry really looking into your to the setup of who you are really really going to the depth of like understanding that we're we're all all merlin here on some level like the wizard like merlin on some level that we have these capabilities we have these like we just scratch the surface of who we are like most people are afraid of their body if they just knew what we're capable of like jesus christ is one of them who knew a little bit more. Um, so yeah, you, you, so yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're very in contact with your crown chakra right now. Um, and you will continue on that path. Mainly, like, and 
overall you will start to feel like really in a you you will start to feel that guidance if you felt really alone on your path like you have to sort everything out on your own if something's supposed to happen you need to fix it if you've been asked to surrender a lot and to like give it up to higher power learn to trust like this is the way like the crown chakra might even be like on fire it might be a little like pressure on your forehead little mini headaches um almost like a little nausea there as well that is your crown really opening up at this time going with the flow okay i'm supposed to read from the book so i will L number 10 i see this as a wheel of fortune there in the back as well like turning in your favor making you feel a clear direction like we have that with the divine guidance there like <clears throat> Maybe you've been like direction less, feeling like you don't know which way to go or where to move or whatever. And then all of a sudden it just becomes really clear. And isn't that just the greatest feeling? It's the yuckiest feeling to not know what's up next or where to go. And we, when there's no prospects, it's like... And then all of a sudden you have that clarity or like you're just clear on where you want to go. That it's just no better feeling in my opinion you might disagree <laughs> okay flow the energies around you at this time are positive and are driving you forward let yourself flow with these energies and put them to good use this is an opportune time to attract your heart's desires do what do you want more love peace or greater understanding is your heart calling out for a new relationship? Well, for some of you are, for sure. Does current relationship need more improvement? Um, focus on your desires and allow them to manifest by expecting them to. This is what I'm talking about. Like, there's going to be so much manifestation that previously just wasn't. At the same time, release yourself to the flow. Events greater than you can... Events greater than you can ever imagine may be heading your way. Project your desires, but also be open to new possibilities. This is what I'm meaning with like, give it, give it up, like surrender a little bit and see where it takes you. Like the universe really has your back and like wants the best for you. And what a lovely thing to be surprised at what it has in store for you. So if you sort of stop to just make it out to be exact, this is what should happen this is what I'm going to do next. If you just sort of let that go a little bit to the best of your ability to see where sort of the universe wants to take you, you might be really, really delighted. Project your desires, but also be open to new possibilities. Good fortune and joyful synchronicities come with the flow, come with the flow card. Open your heart. Open your heart. Open your heart and arms wide and embrace what comes to you. Uh, nothing is static. Life flows in cycles, expanding and contracting, changing and growing. You may be entering a new cycle regarding matters of the heart. Welcome this new cycle. When a stone is tossed into a pond, the ripples flow with the water as they expand and grow. You're in an exciting period of forward movement and expansion, heading into the unknown. This forward movement may guide you into new relationships or out of old ones. In either case, you know that the change is for the highest good. The energy of expansion will help you grow into your new situation gracefully, safely and comfortably. I love that. Yeah, there is a we might pull a card on that ex, that relationship because it's it is here. But this is you learning to go with the flow, trusting in the unknown, or learning to trust in the unknown. And something really exciting is headed your way. I love that. And then we have that master, like master and master. You're becoming the master. You literally are like, you are the Phoenix rising. You are starting to really get it. <laughs> I don't mean to sound arrogant, but like, oh, little you didn't get it before. 
but like you're really stepping into a lot of yummy stuff and it pushes your heart to come out it pushes your your life is probably pushing you right now to just stand more with an open heart and not so much go back into old behaviors when those temptations are there just sort of you know be kind to yourself and know that you're doing the best you can and sometimes we just need to go into those old behaviors so that we feel like you're in, we're in control to let your guard down and to let the heart out and to completely trust the universe like that divine guidance is there to lead the way is not that easy S especially virgo if you've been the one you know really making things happen if they're supposed to happen okay i'm just gonna pull a quick card on the relationship can we just get something around this soulmate this divine counterpart daydreams and decisions and new vitality so it's yet another seven so we have seven 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 on the table you're so divinely guided right now the angels are really with you go into <clears throat> this is about play and fun go into dreaming about this person if, if this is something you want obviously if you're already in a re relationship where you feel like mm, is this is a little bit stagnant where is it going sit with a daydream the positive daydream where you play out exactly what you want happen and we have new vitality here so there is new energy coming in and it's like you're playing all the right notes you're in alignment with the rainbow like it's just yeah begin your new life new beginnings begin your new life and you're so guided so this is more like i don't see a lot of you guys have met this person yet it's still it's still on a you, you can you might have started to feel them which have made you all of a sudden feel like I actually want a relationship a moment ago I didn't and that might be them knocking on your door like on your soul door that they're soon to arrive okay some final messages from the fairies the fairies that I recently have started to work with more and I I don't know too much about the fairies realm but I've been guided there so it's quite exciting <clears throat> Curious, what do you have for Virgo, please, for the month of April? This will be the last card or the last message. they in Swedish it's almost the same even though it's completely not it's almost the same energy look at this blue being so like sh the Phoenix rising so sure of yourself like stand your this stop what day means stand your ground stand up for stand up for yourself stand up for what you believe in set boundaries there's a powerhouse coming through virgo this month that's for sure and i like it that is what i have for you beautiful virgo thank you so much for watching happy easter everyone who's ever celebrates that take care guys